guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of Sounds of Life, so let's go ahead and get started at episode 3, and 3, 2, 1, go. I should have got water, because I am thirsty. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, T, you are, even though you didn't mean to do it, but still, it's just that actions speak louder than the words, and it's okay. Yeah, and I mean, Hoda Loki, she seems like she's not that type of girl who would do something bad, unlike you. No offense. I would hope someone would join. I mean, because, yeah, they need two more people, but they're going to have more than <laughs> they're, like, five. They're going to have, what is it, seven, I believe. But, mm, I kind of want to hope the other girl's going to show up in today's episode, but then at the same time, I feel like a boy is going to come next, and possibly the girl will be the last member to join in the group. It's gonna be interesting if all three of those boys all join at the same time. Yep, because they're the. <laughs> There's that mask again. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Hosuki has that mask, but it's just, you know, she's fine. Yep, put that time on for him. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, she's thinking outside of the box, and that's smart. You don't really need them to be in the group. They could just have their names on it, and they're still in the group. It'll be okay. So in the end, we're probably only going to have four players or just three who actually know how to play the instrument.
I feel in a way he just struck a nerve with her with that. Yeah. She's right about that. Maybe you should get a job. I think you three still have to pay. <laughs> Better. Yeah, but like I said, are you guys actually going to play? I mean, just because you have the things for your fingers, I mean, you still need to learn and practice. <laughs> Shit. But that's not fair. It's already approved, though. Of course, I was looking for the like, same big boy's asses. <laughs> You want the whole school to see? Mm -mm. There's no way in hell you can be ready to perform in a month. So you might as well get to practicing. That's gonna send fire. Mm -mm. Play the instrument to set fire in your belly and get revenge on my back.
Honestly, you three are worse than the blades were made, so I'm like, oh my god, when they found out what's difference is all made. Maybe you should teach them first the notes and everything and then let them keep practicing and maybe an hour or two. Okay, good luck. You might as well. True. You look like Hanekawa. <laughs> Little kids? You know that Jonah Hill gift? There is no way in hell these boys are going to be able to learn that in a month. But how can you be so strong about that? I was a key. I mean, unless you guys train every single freaking day, but who knows?
<laughs> Your mom? Yep, see? There she is. She ain't telling the wall. It's because her mom caused that for her, and that's why she's like that around people. I, mm hmm, I see it. Mm hmm, it's there. It just, oh, give me that backstory on her, please. Mm, okay. <laughs> you can't do that. So that makes sense on why she wanted you to play this. I don't know if that was you crying, puppy, or that was the freaking anime, but like, it's okay. I got one more episode to watch, and you go out in an hour. I bet you the way that she's talking, I'm guessing she's talking the way her mom talked to her and the other kids if they, you know, screwed up or it was their first time. Even though we barely, we didn't really get to see her mom talk, but just the aura that her mom has placed over her and possibly those kids as well. Who knows? So they done. Of course. True, because you really don't know about this, right? Yeah, Kudo loves it so much.
Still gotta love these people. But, I mean, for the teacher, oh, not the teacher, vice principal, to literally challenge him to get something done in a month, well, a week first, and then Jose Keith was like, no, let's do a month. <laughs> I mean, it seems inhumanly possible because, I mean, you have three people who kind of know their shit. Jose Keith knows it. She's like top tier. Um, Kurata is second, and then Chika Kudo, who no, he he's third, and the other three they're just dead last. So of course those three are gonna need a little more practice. But with the fact is, it's a piece that none of them except it seems like Kozuki has played it, and the other boys have it. It's a little challenging for them, and it's like imagine you know I don't know if every kid has had this experience. I know I have when you were in elementary school and you had a music class and then eventually you had to do a concert and if you didn't get something right your teacher would just immediately lash out at you i think my teacher didn't lash at me as much but when i was in show choir or and stuff yes um it's completely different i don't know because about like band um and stuff but i when i used to do like handbells and stuff i didn't have a teacher really lash out but if we messed up like he, he get pissed, but not too, too pissed. But I, I'm rooting for them. I think they could really do it. It's just going to take some time. And if they're really, truly passionate, as I think they are, and from what this next episode from the previews are showing, it seems like they're really going to be hella passionate about this, and I think they're going to be able to do it. And they're going to prove Hoseki wrong this saying, yeah, we can do this if we all just stick together and just know our shit, know when we have to play. I think it's interesting that Hozaki picked this song out of all the pieces to play because the fact is, yes, each person is going to have a different, like, part to play. No one can follow everyone. I, I get the fact is, like, yeah, I think if somebody would have been like, yeah, let's make it so easy that we'll be able to follow everyone, and then, they're like, after that, we can do shit for giggles and then whatever else and shit in the club and whatever. But she wanted... Um, she wanted the piece to be challenging, not only for herself, but for them. She needs, well, not even she, them as a group really need to prove to this vice principal plus the school that they are the real deal. That's why, like, as I said last week, I am getting a lot of, we're only now officially three going on four episodes into the show, and I'm still getting sound euphoria feels at the more and more I'm watching it because of the fact is first half of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the first season where, like, that whole entire band was just pure crap, and he, their, um, what's his face? The conductor. I don't remember his name, because it's been a while since I watched the show, because I binged it. Um, he came in, they were doing a practice, and they played for, like, a little, like, maybe two, up to, like, maybe a minute or two, and then he completely stopped them and said, like, what is this? And, like, you guys need to come back together as a group and wow me. And that's what it seems like it's going to be. These boys are literally going to wow her in this next episode. And I think it's going to be really good. But go ahead and pause the video. And of course, I'll see you guys on one second for episode four. <laughs> episode four in three, two, one, go. I love her. Happy drop. Is there ever going to be an episode where you two are not always arguing? Because, like, oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe you're not plucking correctly. That 
that too. And she's just telling you the truth, though. Maybe you need to tune it. That's why her fingers are so hard. You could have figured it out. I mean, but, like, think about it. Is one month enough for his fingertips to get hard? For him to go calluses and stuff? I don't know. Look at how proud he was of him. <laughs> I think you would have been so happy to see him perform. So I'm gonna cry. <laughs> You guys are just eating, sleeping, and like breathing. I love it. It's so passionate about them. Oh my God.
So, <laughs> yeah, but you guys can't do that during the actual performance. Apparently not. It's a good question. Hmm. Uh, of course. <laughs> right. At that time you didn't, but now you do. We're always like that to our parents and grandparents. We don't really want to hear what they have to say, but sometimes when you're older and when you're on your own, you really want to hear their guidance. So, you know, no matter what, you hear them and on and on, but then you actually get to remember some of the things that they taught you. Hmm? That's a good idea. Wait, how's it here? Just this once, and then you go home. Yeah. You don't have to have your wall always up around them.
In a way, she kind of did it late. She kind of had to perform in, in a canon as well. Of course. Mm -hmm. Keep the clapping in your mind while you're performing, and then you should possibly get the hang of it. You'll get it. You stop too. <laughs> Let's see. You got it. Did you bring up food? We needed to hear that. And I like. 
I love them. They may be like <laughs> not the smartest or brightest of the bunch, but they have heart. And they're sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and say it right then and there. Both of these two <laughs> fell in love with him right there. <laughs> I mean, it is so amazing. Oh my god. You'll write someone, don't worry. Oh. Of course. You secretly are. She so secretly is. I mean, come on. It's written all over your face. Oh my god.
I didn't even know what to say. I knew it was going to come up. Mm -hmm. Because she needs to know. That's the thing. We're four episodes in, and I was like, I think, I I thought one or two things were going to happen. I thought they were going to draw it out and wait until the most, like, right time for them to finally, you know, talk about Elephant in the Room, especially because the fact that Hoski does it now, everybody else kind of does, but Hoski is the only one who's like, out of the loop of it, and so she has the right to know because she is a part of this club, just as much everyone else. I mean, even when you're friends with someone, you kind of want to know everything about them in a way. It's just that right of passage, really. So, I don't know. It's something I ain't gonna know until maybe today is Wednesday. Uh, maybe Friday. It just depends on like how non-busy I am. But yeah, both episodes are good. I really enjoyed both of them. And I can't wait to see what happens in five and six. Episode five is literally going to bring... Chica and Ozuki together. Not make them in a couple officially, but just to bring them together as finally friends and not just, I mean, acquaintances or even frenemies anyway. I mean, because, you know, friends do argue. They're different in a special way, but I mean, even that part where he's playing. And both um, Kureta and Honozoki come and hear him and stuff. In that moment, they both fell in love. That feeling, that wave of emotion that just felt right all over them, washed over them and stuff. Oh, you just you get tingled about it, and it's just so sweet. But from what the preview for next week seems. It seems like the performance is finally coming, so I, I just hope and pray that everything goes well. No one messes up. Everyone does fine and stuff. I think also next week we'll get a little bit more backstory on Hono, um, Honozaki and her mother. Because I do love the fact that they did like a teeny tiny bit in 3 and 4. But I still have a lot of questions about her and why her mother... Um, is so angry about it the way she is because it seems like possibly um, her mother, her grandmother, when her mother was younger, taught her that way. And so whatever the actions of the way how you've been taught as a kid from your parents, you usually take those same exact things and you teach to your kid and so on and so forth and stuff. And it's a possibility, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean... I ain't gonna know until next week or really maybe this week but hey other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 3 and 4 of Sounds of Life if you guys enjoyed it believe give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 5 and 6 bye guys